now over to a couple of spotlights on exciting work um, shipped and upcoming, starting with Time Lock Encryption, Patrick. Hello, everybody. I'm Patrick from the DRAN team. For those of you who don't know, DRAN is a network for generating publicly verifiable, unpredictable, unbiasable random numbers. Uh, we recently implemented a practical implementation of time lock encryption uh, that does not use proof of work. Time lock encryption is the ability to encrypt something now that cannot be decrypted until some point in the future. Uh, it's got some cool use cases like a dead man switch, MEV prevention and blockchain systems, anonymous auctions, uh, and many, many more. Concrete things we shipped recently are a time lock library in Golang. Uh, and a time lock library in TypeScript. Uh, we also developed a demo website for encrypting vulnerability reports called Time Vault. Uh, all these were released and discussed at DEF CON Las Vegas two weeks ago. Um, additionally, we've written a Notion page about our scheme for people who want to get into the weeds, um, as Rob said earlier. Uh, additionally, we're releasing a blog post in the next two weeks that's going to detail how it's going to work and hopefully uh, get the community involved a bit more. Also coming up, we're going to make a Rust compatible library for Time Lock as well. And yeah, watch out for that. Feel free to join us on our Slack or on our Notion page and give us feedback. Thanks. Super cool. Users here need it. So if this solves a scratch is an issue you're trying to solve, come come get involved in the Slack channel and, and start actually using this in prime time. Over to Peter for Unified CI. Oh yeah, me again. <laughs> Hi, so yeah, the main thing we did this week uh, on the developer experience side was to release new version of Unified CI, uh, mainly targeted at uh, Go users here. But maybe first let's start with what Unified CI is. So it's a set of uh, GitHub action workflows um, define how to test and release our code, currently supported for Go and JS, that we distribute to participating repositories. Uh, if you want to participate, it's as easy as uh, creating a single PR to protocol.github uh, repo uh, that has a name of the repo you're interested in adding back to release. Uh, so in the, the most recent release, uh, the, the main thing that's new is uh, Go 119 support. And we dropped Go 117 support from our Go workflows. Uh, which means that all participating repositories are free to use generics now, uh, which is the most exciting thing. And the other cool thing that's, that's new in Unified CI land is that from now on, whenever we detect a new repository uh, that uses Go uh, in, in our organizations, we're going to automatically suggest adding Unified CI there. One more thing, <laughs> if your if your update <clears throat> the update in your repository of Unified CI doesn't uh, get merged automatically, it might be for for various reasons. Uh, most most of the time, it comes down to upgrading some dependencies. But if you're stuck at, and if you want some some help with getting the upgrade through, please uh, reach out to us at IPDX uh, in Filecoin Slack. That's all I had. Thank you. Awesome helping everyone merge and, and check their PRs quickly. Super useful, makes for a great developer experience. Over to Steve for IPFS gatherings. Yeah, so after a hiatus, it's time to re-energize the IPFS community with IPFS camp. It is happening in Portugal uh, in late October around the whole lab week time. So this is kind of building on a momentum of a series of great IPFS related milestones and announcements that happened in 2022, as we've kind of focused Shifted focus from our reference implementations to having many implementations, the relaunch of the specs process, you know, more developer and user tooling, um, the partnership to get IPFS into space, major commitments to IPFS funding and IPFS hiring, and of course the successful event back in uh, July with IPFS thing. So there's been a lot there and we want IPFS Camp 2022 to carry on with that. Um, and really set us up for more growth and adoption here in 2023. So there is a standing website right now. More details will be posted there soon. Um, we look forward to seeing and having many of you present at it. Um, in terms of if you want to, if you're gung ho for camp and ready to prepare, um, there are a lot, all the videos from my best thing are now live. Um, you can find them on the YouTube channel, or if you want links to all the playlists, if you go to the uh, recap blog post that's on the IPFS blog, you'll also find them there. So anyway, looking forward to seeing many of you all here at this event soon. Good times. Woot woot. Definitely watch the videos. They're fantastic. 